You know life's a little bit hectic when you received a new watch a couple months ago and you haven't had time to open it yet. That's what happened with this beautiful Formex watch. As that little postcard might have given it away, this watch has a cosmic origin. Introducing the Formex Essence Lagera 41 Space Rock. Pocket watch fan. Pocket watch time. I've got loads of pocket watches. I collect pocket watches. Welcome to another episode of Pocket Watch Time. My name is Patrick W. And I'm very excited to introduce a new watch into the collection. As you may or may not know if you follow the channel, but I like weird watches. I like watches that come in special materials, watches that have unique innovations, and pretty much anything that makes me say, wow, that's an interesting watch. And as it turns out, well, they're the brand that might have a similar heartbeat to mine because they like making innovations and they like using unique materials. And that brand is Formex. I don't really like the name Formex. I never really have. I guess I like it a little bit better after doing a little research and figuring out where the name came from. I guess it's supposed to be an amalgamation of Form and Extreme and thus Form X. It's not a bad name, but it's not my favorite name. But Formex, I will give you some credit. You've got a great symbol. Some other small brands like Zelos, Yuck, and Christopher Ward Eh, not really a big fan of the flag. Just can't seem to get a good symbol. So Formex, even though your name isn't my favorite, your symbol's pretty great. All right, enough of that petty stuff. So what made me dive into a micro brand some people might call independent watchmaker like Formex? Well, being a watch junkie that I am, I've obviously bumped into them on the Instagram. I've seen other people's review videos on YouTube. And in general, I've done a little homework on the brand, but not until I went to New York and bumped into the guys at Formex at the Wind Up Watch Fair, did they really get their hooks into me. I got to try on a couple of their models, and they really were super comfortable. And I was really impressed with some of their innovations. We'll get to those later. So when this particular model was released, I knew I had to have it. Not only does it have their favorite case design, the Essence Legera, and not only was it in the best size, the 41mm, but this particular watch has a carbon case, a ceramic bezel, and a meteorite dial. Can you beat that combination? I think not. And to sweeten the pot for me, it's even a limited edition of 88. I know tons of people don't like limited editions, but I love them. I think it's pretty great knowing that there's only 88 other people on the planet that have this watch. And not only that, they let me choose a number that I like. So I got number 27. If that's the kind of service you get with a micro brand or a small independent watch company, sign me up. That's great. So in this little watch review, you're going to see lots of videos of me showing off my wrist, showing the dial in certain lights, You'll see how beautiful it is. There's really nothing to complain about on the looks. The carbon fiber case is great. The ceramic bezel is super clean with polished areas and textured areas to give contrast. And doesn't it just get better when you've got a meteorite dial? I think so. This is my second watch with a meteorite dial. And this variant has a much lighter meteorite than my other one. And that's pretty cool. So the externals are absolutely fine. On the inside, similarly, it's a Salita SW200. It's COSC certified. You're not going to have any problems with the in or the out of this movement. Two of the features that are kind of unique to Formex is their case suspension system, which initially I thought was kind of a gimmick. But actually, once you wear it, it's actually really comfortable. It allows the watch to fit to your wrist just a little bit better. And I guess if you're doing some extreme sports, you don't have to worry about your movement shaking around so much. I don't baby my watches, but I'm definitely not jumping off cliffs or out of airplanes with them. The other feature they brag about is their micro adjustment to their clasp. And their clasp is amazing. So one of my big pet peeves of watches is having a clasp that sits on the bottom and you're desk diving it all day long and you get it scratched up and it looks like crap in a couple years. Well, Formex made their clasp out of carbon, so that's not going to happen. But they've also have this included micro adjust that allows you to pinpoint accurate size it to your wrist. Super comfortable. So I'm definitely impressed with that, because not only is it comfortable, but it's made out of a scratch-proof material. A plus Formex. So I guess if I have to go over the pros of Formex, I have to say the watch quality is great. The case is good, the design is good, the materials are great, some of their innovative features are wonderful. For a brand that's only been around since 1999, I think they're making good progress. 
On the negative side, I do have a couple cons. One of these is going to sound really petty, but the included cardboard box? Ugh, that's just not good. I know you're probably trying to be good to the universe and the earth and all of that stuff, but having your watch come in a cheap cardboard box just doesn't scream quality. I see on your accessory page you can buy a wood box to go with it, but come on guys, just include the wood box with your watch. My other con is a half con. I wish you had a screw-in crown. I know, you don't need a screw-in crown to get your 100 meters of water resistance, and thank you for having 100 meters of water resistance. But boy, a screw-in crown just makes me feel more secure with it. And on a side note with the crown, I noticed when I was winding up the watch, it just doesn't wind smooth. I know it works fine, but it just feels a little gritty. It just feels like there should have been a little extra oil there. I know that's not your job, that's Salida's job. But once again, it just didn't inspire quality. One last thing before I leave you on this review, I actually had a little small problem with my watch when I got it. It turns out one of the spring bars, which was a curved spring bar, this is actually my first watch with a curved spring bar, wasn't curved enough. So I guess if you put a straight or a semi-straight spring bar where a curved spring bar should be, it really whacks out everything. I noticed that one part of the watch just didn't flare properly and it didn't really fit the wrist very well. I took a couple photos, I sent it off to the guys at Formex, and they very quickly sent me a new spring bar, and they even sent me this second strap as a kind of I'm sorry present. And I thought that was pretty cool. And not to mention, the strap looks pretty great. When going back to their website and looking at the accessories page, I see they make this strap in a black, which they sent me, and a gray, which I guess they run out of at the time. Man, I think that gray might look good. I might have to pick that up. So I'm not really counting that as a con, because hey, mistakes happen. It really wasn't that big of an oversight. Unless you really put it on your wrist and tried it on, you wouldn't even notice the issue with the spring bar. So I don't really think that's too bad of a QC issue. And the fact that their customer support was able to remedy it and make it right within a week and send me some free stuff to go along with it, hey, I'm a fan. So now you've seen one of the offerings from Formex. Not only do they make this line, but they make divers, they make field watches, they make a bunch of watches. Pretty cool tech, pretty cool spec. But as I said a little earlier in the video, releasing a watch that has a carbon case, a ceramic bezel, a meteorite dial, that's just the perfect combination for this guy. So if you haven't already, check out Formex. If you're really interested in getting one of their watches, sign up for their subscription. That's what I had to do to get this watch. They gave subscribers a 24-hour head start in purchase. And I'm not exactly sure how fast they sold out, but I do know they sold out. So props to Formex for making a really great watch, a really comfortable watch, and a watch that checks all the boxes for a unique design, unique materials, and some cool technical features. So thanks for checking out this review. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you next week in the next video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to Pocket Watch Time. Pocket watch time. I have lots of reviews on watches and on pocket watches. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.